Here we're going to show you how to tie in mayfly tails or micro fibets. First thing you're going to do is you're going to pull off a little bit of thread here. You're going to tie it in and you're going to leave a long tag end of about 3-4 inches or so. So I'm going to tie this in and I want that tag end to be right on top of the hook. I'm just going to let it hang off the back of the hook there. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to select two mayfly tails which are fine little micro fibets. And we're going to even them up so the tips are nice and even. Now we're going to take those micro fibets and we're going to measure out how long we want them to be. Generally mayfly tails are longer about uh, the length of the shank of the hook so I just kind of measure it out. I place those right on top of the shank of the hook. I'm going to capture those with some wraps now when I tie these in, I want these to be on top of the shank of the hook. So what I'm doing is see how I'm pulling them back and slightly up at an angle as I wrap back on them. That's what you want to do. I'm going to take that thread all the way back to the back of the hook here. All the way to the bend. I'm going to take my thread and just leave it right there at the back. Now the trick is pull these micro fibets up split them just kind of roughly with your hands just like so and you're going to take that thread and you're going to go right in between them and what that's going to do is it's going to perfectly split those tails so just take that thread go in between pull it forward then I'm going to take a wrap with my bobbin to capture that piece of thread that's splitting those tails. And then you can just take your bobbin and thread forward and you can trim it out of there. Now what you've got are two perfectly split mayfly tails. And that's all there is to tying in mayfly tails quick and easy little trick.